There is a brand new Xbox store that is going to be dropping real soon for insiders and I have all the details right here so let's get into it. What is going on everybody? It's Randall Thor 19 the man with the million, back again with another video. Hope everyone's having a great day, and if you guys could do me a big favor, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share button. It means a lot to me, and I thank you guys, each and every one of you, for all your support. Now, if you recall, a couple months ago, a brand new Xbox store was leaked, codenamed Mercury, and there was some video walkthroughs from Jez Corden, among other people, that went through a bare-bones version of that store, and everything about it seemed to be very positive. Well, Xbox finally announced the brand new store and it's going to be coming to insiders and i can't wait to get my hands on it and whenever i do i will definitely do a full walkthrough to tell you guys all the things that are new and improved about it now towards the end of the video i included a clip of major nelson interviewing cody bird of the store team as they delve into everything new about the xbox store in a live demonstration but if you head over to the xbox wire article announcing the new store there are definitely some bullet points that microsoft really wants to get across about this brand new store the first is that it is much faster than the previous version. They say that the new Microsoft Store on Xbox is more than twice as fast as before. It launches in under two seconds and the browse performance is greatly improved. It's faster than ever to load pages and find what you need, whether it's checking out a sale price or watching HD trailers. Now, I don't know what it's like for you guys, but loading up the store takes a little bit of time for me on my Xbox One X and I even have 800 megabyte download internet. So the fact that the store is gonna load up pretty much instantaneously and that the browse performance is great because quite frankly it is not very good right now so these improvements will be much welcomed now some of the other improvements that xbox is touting is that with the redesigned search functionality it's easier to filter your results and that they've completely rebuilt the wish list so now you can easily add new games to your wish list and quickly check your list content including keeping tabs on any sale pricing for your wish list items so say you want to buy cyberpunk 2077 when it comes out and it's 60 dollars you put it in your wish list. Your wish list would essentially notify you when Cyberpunk 2077 is on sale. Now that is a very good addition in my opinion. They've updated the shopping cart to make it easier to add items to your cart as well as view the items in your cart before and during the purchase. I always thought it was a little bit clunky. You have to look at each individual thing, but like add it to the store, then it would back out. It was a very long process, so that's good. And perhaps the biggest change is that they've made it easier than ever to shop across four generations of Xbox content by enabling customers to view pricing while browsing for new Xbox One games and backwards compatible Xbox 360 and OG Xbox titles as well as adding these games to your wish list or shopping cart. If you recall, if you wanted to buy a 360 game, you basically had to go to a different store to be able to purchase it. Now all the Xbox games will be in one unified store, making it a better user experience. So the store sounds like a significant improvement on the one that we are currently using. They've updated the visual font as well and I can't wait to get my hands on it and whenever I do, I will definitely drop a full walkthrough telling you guys my thoughts of the brand new store. In just a minute here, I'm going to drop the video between Major Nelson and Cody of the Xbox store so you can see it in full detail. And I just want to thank you guys for watching the video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Share this out on social media or tell a friend about the channel. And if you want to be notified immediately whenever I drop new videos, hit that notification bell. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy the interview between Major Nelson and Cody about the new store. A brand new Microsoft Store experience is coming to Xbox Insiders, and joining me today is Cody Bird from the Store Team. Cody, good to see you, my friend. How are you? Larry, thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm so glad to finally get a chance to share this with our uh, our, our faithful Xbox fans. This is a, a big day for us. Well, it is my pleasure. I have to tell you, you know, you and I have worked together for quite some time, and uh, one thing, you know, been working on the Store Team, and you guys have always come to you and say, hey. What can we do to make the store better? And well, you guys have been working on that for quite some time. And as I said just a moment ago, when you, there's a blog post that's up, I'll put a link in the comments um, and today, depending on when you're listening to it, but we've announced that there's a new store coming to Xbox Insiders. Just tell me a little bit about that. And then we actually gonna, we're gonna do a demo, Cody, we're gonna do a demo. Yeah, you bet. We're gonna spend most of our time, I think, showing it off, which is exciting. Yeah, um, yeah it, it's been a long work in progress. I think we, you know, the, the store is a place where we know our, our Xbox fans spend a lot of time discovering their new content, finding their next best thing to play, finding yep. their next new Game Pass game to play. Um, and we wanted to take this opportunity as we start getting uh, into the, the Xbox Series X launch to do a real overhaul and, and rethink how we can make that experience the, the best it possibly can be. 
Um, so yeah, we, we've got a really uh, big update that that we we hope everybody's going to be excited about and excited to share. Now, this is, as, as we said, I'm going to say it multiple times because people think they're going to get this right away. This is on Insiders right now. And then there, this, yeah. this, the, the, the plan is, is you're going to roll this out over the coming months and then eventually wide release later this year. Is that right? Yeah, that's totally right. So we're going to start with insiders and uh, get our hands, uh, get hands on with uh, the, the millions of folks that we have in, in those rings today, get feedback, make sure that the, the changes we make are, are really resonating. And uh, from there, we're going to start rolling that out to the general public. And, and we hope to have this in everybody's hands this fall. Well, nobody wants to see you and I. They want to see the new store. So I'm going to cut yeah, right over this. Such low res. <laughs> well, we can hear you now. So here we are. This is my <laughs> dashboard. This is a live live demo. So anything can happen. And I'm gonna go right into the store. And the first thing you're gonna notice is the speed. Cody, you guys yep. really worked on the speed here. So let's talk, let's go through that and then we can kind of go through the demo a little bit. Yeah, you bet. I think the, the thing we're proudest of with the, the new Microsoft Store on Xbox is just how fast it's been. So uh, we did a complete re-architecture of the app in the React Native on Windows. Um, so uh, as opposed to the, the previous framework, which um, while really versatile, had a lot of performance limitations, the, this new re-architecture allows us to launch the store in uh, under two seconds, in some cases under one second. Um, you can easily move between content, view things quickly. Uh, and as I said, you can you know pop in and out, uh, you know, that cold Old start was under two seconds. Yeah, uh, if it's already in memory, it's it's almost instant. Yeah, and so I want to talk about this because it's 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 a complete redesign. You took a lot of what you learned yeah. from the, for lack of a better term, the original Xbox Store, and this is gee yeah. whiz, is this so this is the third version. Did we talk? Because we talked about this. We had the one in the Xbox 360. We have Xbox yep. One, and now we have this version, right? That is correct. Yeah. So this is kind of a, it, you're, you're right. And I hadn't really thought about it. We, we kind of have a every generation uh, look at this. And um, yeah, this is this is our, a big change for us where yeah. uh, a lot of what we're looking at is what we've learned from the work with Guide and how customers are, are really enjoying being able to navigate through their content in a more natural way through the uh, the channels and content blocks. And uh, you kind of see as you scroll down, it, it really naturally flows to your different pieces of content. and. Um, we thought that bringing all of this up was going to make it easier for fans to find what's new, find what's happening in the store, um, and, and also just get to the things they care about. Do they want to yeah. search? Do they want to look for deals? Do they want to look at the newest games? Um, doing more to bring that all up to the top and getting that into a single store entry point was important to us. And I see here we go. We've got Game Pass Ultimate. Um, all the games are in here. You can see the details about that offer. But the the, the thing that's great is, I mean, where do you want to start? Because there's, there's so much to cover here because it's so new. So I'm going to take your cue. Tell me where to go yeah. here, Cody. Let's let's go ahead and um, let's just actually jump into games at the very top level. Let's check that check that out. Okay. So you just click here, and there you go. This is games. And again, this yeah. is a cold start. I loaded this. I haven't loaded this before, so this is right off the bat. So what do we got? Exactly. Yeah. So what you'll find here is is a couple of things. One, um, if, if folks were familiar with the speaking of the Xbox One with the twists, where we kind of had. Uh, part of the store in an app and part of the store in the OS, we've consolidated everything together. So now when you're looking at the top of home and you're looking at your games, um, we're making it really easy for you to find your deals, your subscriptions, things that are relevant to you based off your recent activity. Looks like maybe you've been playing some Apex Legends lately, Larry. That uh, is true. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're, we're kind of keeping an eye, wanted, trying to make it easier for people to find things. But one of the things we're most proud of actually, and this is a great showcase, is um, we're bringing more details about the games up to the top. So uh, instead of having to load into a PDP, if you kind of pop in a game here, we start showing the trailer in line. Uh, we start giving more information about the game. Um, we show more information about the sales and the deals. So if there's yeah. a sale going on, not just what percentage off and your price, but when does that sale end? Yeah. Um, some, some more to make it, uh, work. we use the word snackable a lot. We wanna make it a lot easier to look and browse through the content um, and enjoy it. Like actually really enjoy going through and seeing the thousands of great games that uh, are, are on the Xbox store. This is a great example. So we'll take this game right here. We see a little bit of it. You can see, as you said, it's a new release. It's for family and kids. It's a sim strategy and the price. We can click in on this and instantly um, this feels new. So yeah. why don't you explain to us? I guess this is like a game detail page. Tell, tell us what this is all about. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, one of one of the things is while we wanted to make it easier to browse through and kind of snack on content in those those other browse experience, it was really important to us as well that when you dug in and really wanted to get into the details of a game, um, that that was really thoughtful as well. 
Um, so that same design we have where you kind of scroll down and these new chunks of content translates into the game details pages. Um, you can easily view the trailers, view the screenshots, view the details of the game, like description, who developed it, what are the features and capabilities. Um, you know, if you want to know if a game uses Xbox Live and how, um, you can check that out in the details section. Um, <laughs> The, yeah, one of the things I want to point out is great display. Yeah, and one of the things I want to point out is here. I'm going to go into let's see one of the the enhancements we're going to Forza, for example, um, is you know we can see right there it's included in Game Pass how much it is. Now we've also got additions, so this is yes. something that a lot of people. Here we go. Here's the new additions. Tell us about this. Yeah, so this is uh, a thing that we, we started exploring a little bit uh, last holiday and had some really great success with our fans, um, had, had a lot of great success even with our publishers, really loving the display of this content. So uh, once something we're doing with the new uh, the new Microsoft Store and Xbox is um, we're doing more to surface the different editions of the game and make it easier for customers to choose and pick which one that they might want to play. Um, so when you're in a game, uh, when you go to view to a PDP, A, making those additions really clear, in some cases even popping that up if we're thinking that, hey, maybe you you didn't know which edition you meant to pick yet. We, we maybe sure. start you here uh, sure. and help you pick which one. So that way, uh, you know, a, a complaint we hear sometimes and a fair one is, um, man, with these games have so many different editions and so many different add-ons, how do I keep it all straight? Right. Um, and and we're, we're hoping that the, the new design helps clarify some of those details. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of see right off the bat, here's what it includes. You can go left and right, what the prices if it's with game pass of course they're all with game pass yeah. um the other thing that i i noticed is that um this game this the the new store it's way easier to navigate with the controller yeah. let's talk about some of the work you guys did there yeah, and I think that's a great thing to call out. And you know, without going too inside baseball, one of the things that was true about the the Microsoft Store that's live now is um, it's a it's a pretty shared code base between what we do on uh, Microsoft.com Store, what we do on our, our Microsoft Store on web. Um, and while that had a lot of great efficiencies and, and opportunities to kind of keep a consistent experience, um, it didn't do as much as it could to celebrate the, the navigation and the power of the Xbox. Um, so this new design we took on was really uh, put first in mind with the notion of I'm sitting, you know, 10 feet away from my 4K TV with a controller in my hands. How do I most easily navigate that through? And we have an excellent design team in Xbox who uh, kind of went back to first principles and thought about how best can we navigate through all this new content, uh, especially in a world where we have things like Game Pass that didn't exist when we launched the previous Xbox store um, and all these new pieces of information we want to share about our games. Um, it was a great chance to, to restructure and part of that is this left navigation you see here, Larry, where, um, you know, when there's so many different ways to slice our catalog, not just our games, but our movies and our TV and our apps, um, helping people jump to the thing they care about and not having to navigate between menus is important. Um, and this is another great uh, addition that we're making is kind of this this uh, uh, gallery view when uh, you view you're viewing something that you you want to really double click into. I want to view the the top games. I want to view the Game Pass games. Um, we show this this richer gallery view where just like before, if you sit on one of these games, you'll see the trailer, um, you'll see the details about um, you know what what is its description, you know the beginning of that description. Uh, and again, if you click into this, we're going to take you to that rich game details page where we're going to show you the full set of information you might want to know. And, and there's the additions again. So so we talked about it, you know, we again. talked about, yeah, I mean, it, there's there's so much to talk about here, but kind of the themes we're seeing is it's it's faster. Um, you yeah. know, the, the new store is faster. Uh, we talked about being easier. We've redesigned a lot of things to work with the controller really, really well with the controller. And a lot of it's based on Definitely. on the feedback. So it's it's there's a lot of work going on there. You also did a little bit of work around uh, the shopping cart. Let's talk about that, and and yeah, the and, and the uh, and the wish list. So let's let's go back up to the top here, um, and show me show me. Let's talk through that. Yeah. So one of the things that um, we added in the middle of the life cycle of the previous store is like wish list in our shopping cart, and yeah. um, while those were great features, they were a little buried at times um, and, and hard to discover. So, so one of the things that we're we're really putting a lot of energy into is when you go to any game um, uh, details page experience, making it really easy to add that game to your wish list here. You can see kind of in that third button, add it to your shopping cart. Uh, and when you have those things inside of your wish list, uh, if you go back to that or your shopping cart, if you go back to that that home screen experience, um, you can quickly see what's in that cart, see what's in that wish list, um, and complete that purchase. So, like if you click on your wish list, for example. We'll, we'll showcase that. 
Um, this is a, a way for you to see those things hop back to the games you express interest in. And another change we made really excited about is recently viewed. Oh yeah, um, look at you've this. Been looking at things in the store and say, hey, um, oh yeah, I, I uh, remember looking at a game recently that that was pretty exciting to me, but I, I you know can't easily get back there. But I wanna I wanna put a, a notification on. I wanna put it in my wish list. Um, you can do that. And one of the great things about wish list is when uh, a game goes on sale. Um, we, we give you a notification so that way, you know, if, if you put something in your wish list and say, man, I, I don't want to buy this now, but I'm excited to come back. Yeah. Um, if that game ever goes on sale, we, we let you know to, to give you a good opportunity to get in there and, and buy that content at a deal. There's also some other things here. I mean, here in this one, you can see friends that played the game. You see that at the top. We've yeah. seen that a little bit. Um, we also see these like right above here. We see the LB and RB. So there's a lot of tips to get you moving around here and where you want to go. In fact, up in the left hand corner, you, you can see the view button. So that I know when I hit the view button, it instantly pulls out the menu, right? Exactly. And, and so much of this for us is just trying to make things uh, predictable and, and easy to read. You know, one of the things we know is uh, we've got some diehard fans who are going to know this inside and out and be able to uh, kind of do it with their eyes closed. But one of the things that's important to us when we think about an easier to use store is a, a store that is is more inclusive for, for folks who might be new to our experience, um, might be new to the, you know, the, the Xbox family, especially within the, the next generation of consoles. Um, so giving us an opportunity to make sure that that is not just efficient and fast and really natural on your controller, but intuitive and really uh, just kind of uh, direct in terms of how I should use things, what I should do to close things. I see um, some, I'm, I'm in this, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm in the settings Great. here and I see these interesting about disable motions and autoplay sound. T tell us about that, that's great. Yeah, this is huge. Um, one of the common complaints we get a lot from from fans, uh, and it's actually interesting, it cuts both ways. Uh, we've tried to make some changes and, and have gotten feedback on both is um, how video works and how sound works when, when you interact. <laughs> you in you and I have had many spirited conversations about this. Many spirited conversations. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've been pulled apart on both sides on this. And ultimately, I think what we decided and and I think is, is, is a really a principle of, of the new store all up is uh, choice. We'd rather let people choose what they want to do. Um, so if you actually press, you know, start at, at any time here and, and pull up the menu, um, we, we actually give you the choice in line to say, hey, do I want to uh, do I want to turn off autoplay video? Uh, do I want to turn on sound of autoplay videos? Right. Um, do I do I want to um, you know show that have that set of control at your fingertips uh, instead of trying to find one single way to do some of these things that we know people have different different ideas and opinions on. Yeah, I mean, here you can see it's it's so it's got you can see the trail at the top. You can see I'm like, oh, you know what? I, I don't want to hear sound or I don't want autoplay. Yeah, you can and, do that I, right there. <laughs> exactly. And, and I thought I was going to hate it. Like I thought these are like, I thought I was like, there's no way I want sound in my autoplay videos. And um, as I'm using the new store experience and browsing around, I actually really enjoy it. Um, and, and I encourage everybody who gets their hands on the, the new store experience to try out some of those different settings and find out what works for them. They might be surprised. The other, of course, you can redeem and do all of those things over here as well, like you've always been able to do. One of the other areas that we're focusing on, Cody, is uh, is safer. Tell us about that, because I was yes. going through some of the notes here, and I, I just I have safer scribbled in the in the column of my notes. Tell us about yeah. that. Safety is important to us. Um, I think one of yeah. the things that we we care a lot about in the store, the world of store especially, is. Um, you know, how do we make a store that doesn't just work for our, you know, for people like me who, you know, I'm a grown adult with lots of disposable income and I'm, I'm excited to play the full range of Xbox games, um, but also folks with families who maybe have kids that they want to uh, do a little bit more to, to keep an eye on and control what they're playing and what they're seeing inside of the store. Um, we've made a couple of really important changes. Um, one of those, and, and some of these are a little harder to show with your account, sure, but sure. Um, I think it's, it's useful to talk through for, for folks who, who are interested did. Um, one of the things we did is the store doesn't support anonymous logins anymore. So we ask people to sign in. Mm -hmm. um, you might not have even realized this as an Xbox customer that you could sign in without, uh, uh, you could go to the store without being signed in on an account. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it is actually a really kind of easy, was kind of an easy loophole for sometimes for uh, folks who had content restrictions to get around some of those things that were helping close so we can make sure that the experience is more consistent. Yeah. Um, the other thing that we're really leaning in on um, is doing more to show the ratings uh, in more prominent ways of content. So if you actually want to pop back to the store, one of the things that uh, we worked really hard on that we're proud of is if you go to one of those game galleries, like yeah, new top new games. Um, yeah, good. We'll go down here. We'll, we'll, let's yeah, let's check out here. some. Yeah, we can check out let's check out uh, uh, something new. Most popular, like that's where we were. Sounds great. And then you want, which one do you want and me to go into? 
Yeah, you can stop right here. And oh, we gotta go turn. We have to turn on our trailers again. We turned those off. Um, <laughs> we got the setting. That's important. There you go. If you pop back in, you'll see that uh, if we pop over to like Borderlands, for example, um, before the the trailer runs, uh, we actually. Uh, oh, looks like we might be having a, a little bit of a, a hiccup here. But yeah. before that trailer runs, we, we show a. Uh, there you go, City Skylines. Oh, yeah. that's what it is. Uh, we can just watch one of these. We, we, we show this standardized ratings uh, information. So in the um, U if you're in the U.S., you're then it's ESRB and overseas, it's Peggy and so forth. So Exactly, or CRO or, or whatever your, right. your regional rating board will be. So if that game has a trailer, yeah. um, we're going to make sure that we always show a, a consistent uh, ratings experience before that. There's um, one. And which is a, a really useful thing, not just for our customers, but for our publishers as well, where... Um, localizing and, and regionalizing all those trailers just to have different ratings information can be pretty messy. So sure. um, us doing this in a consistent automated way is safer for our fans. Um, and it's also way more reliable, especially and inclusive for folks who um, you know, aren't in the US and but maybe they still want to speak in English and they want to see the local ratings board. Um, we have, we're much better at giving them the right thing. I, I just want to drill into one of the, uh, you know, one of the um, the game details page. We see this down here, but down here at the bottom, we also have screenshots in where it's included, which we didn't kind of in one of the earlier reviews. I didn't have that ratings. Let's talk about ratings. You guys yeah. have done a lot of work around ratings, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, and this is a space too. And I think one of the things that's great about launching this experience in Insiders first is um, this isn't really an ending point for us. This is a new starting point. We have lots of things that we're excited about bringing uh, to the fore. So, you know, we've, we've redesigned the ratings experience to make them easier to view, easier to filter. I think one of the things that we're excited about in the store is um, almost everything's filterable. Um, so if you're looking at ratings and reviews, we're going to show you different ratings and uh, filters and sorts that are available. Um, if you pop back up a level to those top games, um, we can help you filter through some of those details there. So if you hit X to filter here, um, you can filter this list of, of most popular games by particular genres um, or even star ratings or ESRB ratings. Um, and once you're you're done with those things, um, you know, pop back out and you'll see that this list has been filtered. Uh, you can sometimes filter your way down to a very small list of games, <laughs> yeah. uh, depending on where you start. But I love being to be precise. You know, I'm, I'm yeah. a big fan of strategy games um, and, I, and I like playing cooperatively with my friends. Those filter features go a long way to making that easy to do. Yeah. And you can look at you, you like I say, to your point, if you can go into the, you know, any one of these filters and click on coming soon and go, you know what? Show me all the ones that are teens so I can figure out, or even everyone, what are the games I can play with my with my family? And there you go. And they yeah, can see exactly. Right. And making it easy to shop with your family is a huge part of what we're hoping to hoping to do here. So yes. I think there's there's a lot of advantages there. And we do really similar things to on movies and TV. We show standard pre-roll ratings before um, movie trailers. I think that was a place where we've gotten feedback in the past where man, it seems kind of inconsistent that um, you know a trailer for a movie that's rated R could show, but uh, I can't see a teen game. And um, it was a good opportunity for us to look through some of those places where there were inconsistencies or issues and um, help get those things taken care of and you can kind of see the you know the, it's a similar we didn't spend a lot of time in the movies but the movies area got the similar treatment of exactly the same things the different versions the different formats so that's real helpful exactly yeah this, what we're really excited about is this this update to our visual language is is really all across the app it's for our, our apps it's for um you know hardware movies and, and and tv um in addition to games obviously we're uh we at xbox love games but uh we we have all kinds of great content in our store and um we want to make sure that we celebrate that stuff well i also want to point out cody this is something this is the store update which is going to be rolling out obviously to insiders now and to everyone else later on the year yeah. um i mean obviously since it's going insiders now people are going to get this on whether they have an xbox one or an xbox when they if they buy an xbox series x you're gonna you're gonna see the same thing correct yeah totally correct and, and i think that's another thing that was important to us is um we we love our xbox one fans um you know today they're they're um our our our, our, our most loyal customers. And uh, we want to make sure that when we're thinking about how we make the store better, we make it better for everybody. Um, so this experience that, that you're going to get, you're going to see on your Xbox One today. Um, and it's only going to get better on Xbox Series X where the hardware is even more powerful. Um, the, all the great performance wins that, that we're doing now for the store only get better on the next generation of uh, Xbox consoles. I know it's very exciting. I, it's Cody, I mean, I, we, we could kind of don't want to spend too much time in the store because I mean, we've done a lot of stuff here. People need to go read the blog post over at Xbox yes. Wire, I'll have a blank, uh, a link. And then if you're not in Insiders, you need to sign up for Insiders. But if you're not, don't worry about it because um, this store will become the store. Uh, the What are the plans for the rollout, Cody? 
Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, so we're going to start the rollout, uh, uh, you know, basically this week. We're going to start gradually rolling it out to customers, and we're going to take it through the insiders for a week or two, um, get feedback, make sure that things are, are comfortable. Uh, and then from there, we're going to start turning it on for um, – some kind of a, a, at random customers inside of our, our general audience to uh, sure. see how it performs, make sure that it's it's stacking up well, people are happy, our, our customers are happy. Um, our hope is that uh, as early as, as September, we're gonna have this turned on for all fans, but it's important to us that for something as important as store, which our customers use every day, we get it right. And we're gonna yeah. take the time and uh, to make sure that we're, uh, we're building the best experience we can and that uh, it feels like an improvement to everybody who uses it. And I also want to point out that, you know, you guys have migrated to this brand new platform, which is going to provide you a lot more flexibility. So you're going to be able to innovate even quicker, I assume, right? That is correct. Yeah. React Native on Windows has been a, a huge watershed shift for us in terms of being able to um, not just make things performant, but be so much more agile. Um, you know, yeah. the time it took for us to build this store, um, while it was a lot of work, was a, a fraction of the work that it required to build the previous store that we uh, we had launched. And um, we found that we can go from new idea uh, to execution and testing, uh, sometimes in, in less than a week. Uh, yeah. and, and it's really exciting as a foundation for us to build off of. Uh, we're so excited for what we're going to be able to do uh, this holiday and beyond. I'm really excited, guys, getting a brand new store experience coming to Xbox Insiders and everybody else in the coming months. Cody Bird from the Xbox uh, Xbox Store or Microsoft Store. I appreciate you joining the team. And uh, thanks again for all the work you do. And I'm looking forward to check uh, checking out all that feedback, right? Yes. Thanks, Larry. Yeah, I, I appreciate the opportunity to share it. And I'm so excited to hear what our fans have to say.